Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Gary and if you couldn't tell by the channel name, I like games. Uh, I like all kinds of games. Card games, board games, tabletop games, but especially video games. A couple weeks ago I was browsing YouTube as I normally do and I came across a video by Cassandra McKenna who does gaming video reviews and uh, the video I came across was a get to know me video. And it was a video talking about how she got into gaming and the kinds of games she likes. And I thought that was a really good idea. It was a fun video to watch and, more importantly, a fun video idea to steal. So sit back and relax while I tell you a little bit about myself. So like I said at the beginning, my name is Gary. I am 28 years old and I have a wife and two kids as well as a sweet dog named Macy. My wife and kids aren't going to be pictured on here because the internet's a weird place, man. And of course, I love video games. My earliest memory playing video games is playing on the Super Nintendo with my dad in my childhood. We would mostly play Super Mario All-Stars and Donkey Kong Country. I distinctly remember us making it to King K. Rule in Donkey Kong Country and beating the game together, only to find out years later that my dad had my controller unplugged because there was no way he was going to beat that game with me helping him. Despite that being my earliest memory, the moment in time that I think turned gaming into a lifelong passion for me was when my dad came home one day with two Game Boy Colors and a copy of Pokemon Yellow for me and a copy of Pokemon Blue for my brother. I remember us being very confused as to why the sprites looked different in each game because back then the internet wasn't this gigantic thing that it is now and we had no idea that these games were even like from Japan or that there were previous versions or anything like that. From that point on though, I was hooked. What my parents thought was going to be a hobby that eventually I would grow out of has followed me throughout my entire life. I'm to this day, playing video games is my all-time favorite hobby. While we're on the subject of favorites, why don't I go over some of my favorite games so you can kind of get an idea of what my tastes are, because everybody's tastes are different. Now, I don't think I could narrow it down to an all-time single favorite game. There's just too many great games out there to just pick one or one franchise even. And depending on my mood, my favorites could change. However, the games that I typically find myself coming back to over and over again are games like Fire Emblem, Halo, Gears of War, just about any Pokemon game, Super Smash Brothers, Mountain Blade Warband, Age of Mythology, Tales of Symphonia, pretty much any anime fighter like the Naruto Storm series or Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi. Those are at least the uh, AAA main in the spotlight titles. However, in the past year and a half or so, I've really enjoyed going back. Uh, I bought an original Xbox from my local game store and have been starting to collect those games. So I've been playing some games like Grab by the Ghoulies or Brute Force. And I've really been enjoying my time going back and experiencing these games that I miss and not having to deal with microtransactions, loot boxes, or battle passes. Can I just say, I feel a bit, how do I word this, left behind by the current state of the AAA game space. That isn't to say I don't pick up some AAA games, I'm going to get Halo and Gears and Pokemon and all that good stuff when they come out. But this nickel and diming of my favorite hobby kind of turns me off of buying some of these bigger games. Not to mention, anytime I buy a large AAA title, it doesn't feel like I'm supporting the people who made the game, and more feels like I'm supporting a giant corporation and lining an overpaid CEO's pocket. As I've gotten older, that kind of thing has gotten to be more important to me, which is why I've recently really started to get into looking at indie games, or at least games from smaller, lesser known developers and publishers. Some of my favorite games that fit that category are Rain On Your Parade, Yes Your Grace, Papers Please, Shovel Knight, Game Dev Tycoon, The Church in the Darkness, and honestly there are so many other indie games that I want to try and experience and, and some that I've played that just haven't come to mind yet. 
Honestly, if you're gonna comment anything on this video, recommend me your favorite indie game or game that's, let's say, five years or older. Maybe I'll end up doing a game probe on it one day. Since I just mentioned Game Probe, the YouTube show I'm trying to do, I want to talk about that a little bit. So I want Game Probe to be a show where I highlight games you might have missed, older titles, and weird, interesting, different games. In addition to that, I'm experimenting with different kinds of content to see what I enjoy making and what I don't enjoy making. I've got the Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke that's been going on for a couple weeks now, and I'm really enjoying editing those videos. They're very quick, they're very easy to edit. I've also got a much longer, bigger project that I've been editing here and there. Maybe once a week I'll edit like two, three minutes of it. Um, that is turning out to be a lot longer than I thought it would be. But I'm excited to put it out there when it's done. I'm really excited for the future of this channel. Not just because I have some cool projects in mind, but because I'm actually doing it. I've wanted to do YouTube for a long time. Like, to give you an example, there are two old channels that me and my friends started that were, they were absolutely terrible. I mean, they were just us goofing off kind of channels. One of those is 14 years old, and the other one is 12 years old. So, why haven't I done YouTube? Well, for a long time, I blamed life getting in the way. I would always have some excuse, some that were valid, some that weren't so valid, as to why I couldn't do YouTube. It was always something on my mind, always something I was working towards, but never something that I actually sat down and did. Nowadays, I realize that I was afraid of failing, I was afraid of getting made fun of, or being told that the stuff I was putting out there was crap. I was bullied a lot in school for being small, for liking Pokemon, god that was a big one for a while, for liking anime, for wearing graphic tees all throughout high school, for having crooked teeth, and so many other things that I can't remember right now. And I think that had a lasting impact on me. It really messed with my confidence for a long time. I'm still the uh, quiet person at work or out in public, and I only really act like myself when I'm at home or with my friends. And while I'm really enjoying the creative process of doing these YouTube videos, I'm also really enjoying it because I feel like I'm at least trying to come out of my shell. And let me tell you, uploading the few videos that I have, getting the few views I have, interacting with people with similar interests as me on Twitter has been wonderful. It has been so refreshing to start strike up a conversation about video games with some random stranger and at least as far as i can tell them not being like oh god this guy's weird and be like oh yeah i'm really into that too and let's discuss this or that let's be mega nerds together it's been really nice so if you're somebody i've interacted with recently on twitter thank you it really does mean a lot getting back on subject a little bit my my goals for youtube <laughs> if you would have asked me five years ago, maybe even three years ago, what my plans for YouTube were. It was going to be upload some awesome gameplay content, some game reviews. It'll be so easy. I'll, you know, get so many views and I'll be living on easy street from then on out. I've uh, definitely grown from that perspective and now it's more, I'm really enjoying the creative process. I know I've said that before. I tend to repeat myself. There's just something so satisfying about putting something out there into the world, into the big ocean of YouTube and have just random people who I've never really met watch it. And I know my videos so far are getting an average of like four to five views, I think. Most of them have been the Nuzlocke, which makes sense. There's definitely no lack of Nuzlocke's on YouTube, but I'm really enjoying myself. And if all I ever grow to is 50 subscribers, 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, that'll be enough, I think. If one day, by some miracle, the almighty YouTube algorithm has mercy on me and I am presented with an opportunity to do YouTube full time, I think I would still take it. 
but it would depend on if I'm still enjoying this whole process. I don't really want to end this video on the kind of lower note that I was just talking about. Honestly, I didn't expect this video to get so deep for a little bit. I don't have a script or anything with this. I have a couple bullet points of things I want to hit and I'm just kind of letting myself talk and doing multiple takes so you don't have a bunch of ums and uhs in there. So to wrap this video up, let's talk about some other things outside of gaming that I really enjoy joy. I love playing tabletop RPGs. My group and I have been playing for like four to five years. We started with fifth edition like a lot of people have. However, after about a year or two of that, we really started to branch out with uh, a little bit of a push from our GM. And we've been playing other games like the Dragon Age tabletop game, which was really fun. Uh, Ryutama, which might be my favorite tabletop RPG of all time. Masks, we, we played that Wendy's tabletop RPG, which was a lot of fun. It's a really goofy game and it's free. You should try it. And I feel like I'm forgetting a couple of the other games we've tried recently, but that's a majority of them. Currently, we are playing Iron Sworn, and that's been a lot of fun. I found I've really enjoyed these games like Iron Sworn and Ryutama, where the entire table is a part of building the world instead of placing that burden solely on the GM. Like, it can be fun to build your own world, but a lot of times it can be stressful too. And having the entire table build the world makes it feel so much more collaborative. And I've found I've been more invested in the world when doing that. If you are at all interested, my friend who primarily GMs for our group, Adrian Lum, has actually written a couple indie tabletop RPGs and has them over on Itch.io. For a quick example of his work, one of his games is called Divination, and it makes use of a Magic 8-Ball and is essentially supernatural, the tabletop RPG. Link to their itch.io in the description. Now let's get back to talking about me. In addition to video games and tabletop RPGs, I love animation, and that's both like Western animation and anime. Some of my favorite anime off the top of my head are Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, One Punch Man, uh, I grew up watching Dragon Ball and love that series, Naruto as well. I also really liked Akame Ga Kill and Evangelion. Oh, and I love Death Note, or at least the first half of Death Note. As far as other animation, I love cartoons, I love Rugrats, um, and I've been watching Invincible, I know that's quite the leap, but I've been watching Invincible here lately, that's been really good. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender and Korra are great, but because I have two kids, I tend to end up watching a lot of children's television. Now, on top of that, I also very casually, and I mean incredibly casually, sometimes play the Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon TCG. And after all that, I think that's about all I have to say. If there is anything else you'd like to know about me, please ask it in the comments down below. With all that said, thank you for watching this video and getting to know a little bit more about me. If you would like to see more, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you liked this more kind of personal, not entirely video gamey kind of video, leave a like and maybe we'll do these more often. Have a wonderful day and see you all in the next one.